This channel has guides to every event in Survivor.io since the beginning of time, which really helped me out a lot because I went through every video and made a list of every mission that Survivor.io has ever had in every event. And with this list, I'm going to tell you how to complete every mission as quickly as possible so that you can get the max rewards. The first mission is to watch ads, and you can typically complete this mission by watching ads on the event's mission page. It's very easy to do. The next mission is to log into the game for a specific amount of days, and you can complete this by logging in every day of the event and by checking in or claiming a reward on the event's page. So those two are very easy, they're very self-explanatory. Let's move on. Next, we have participate in main chapter. We are often required to simply participate in a main chapter, and you can complete this by starting a main chapter chapter or stage, tapping the pause button, hitting the home button, and hitting quit. That's right, all you have to do is enter and exit a chapter and that will typically count as one try. Next we have participate in a main chapter or stage for a certain duration of time. To put a stop to our wild antics of entering and exiting a chapter, they added a new mission, requiring us to remain in a chapter or stage for a duration of time such as three minutes. I've actually been asked a few times about missions requiring you to complete a main chapter, but I can't say that I personally personally remember or can find an event that requires you to play an entire 8 or 15 minute main stage. If this is ever required, try to complete a short chapter, such as a square chapter since they are only 8 minutes long. Next we have open chest or crates, which pretty much means that you can open up any of these crates in the shop, as well as pet crates. People often save gems and keys specifically for these types of missions. Another mission we might see requires you to open up EDF or S supply crates, which would be the purple one down here that says EDF supplies or the S grade supplies crate right here. We have six keys for this one. Let's open it. There's another mission that might require you to open up EDF and above crates. And with that, you cannot open up army crates, but you can open up these purple pet crates. Not the blue ones though. Another mission will require you to open up daily challenge chests. If you defeat one boss in the daily challenge, you can claim one chest. If you kill two, you can open up two chests. If you kill three bosses, you can claim the third one here every day. So try to complete the daily challenge every day try to kill all three bosses and open up the chests down here. Another mission requires us to open up special ops chests. As you see, there are three chests up here. And if you complete 10 special ops missions per day, you can open up three chests. So complete 10 special ops missions per day to open up these three chests up here. The next mission is to defeat bosses. A very quick way to do this is the boss speed kill mission in special ops. The objective is to kill one boss. And then once you kill one boss, try to keep the other boss alive for 10 seconds for the other boss to revive. There we go. So this boss is going to revive once again. We killed that other boss up there and now we have four seconds to wait for the other boss to revive. Do you guys follow what I'm saying? And just like that, there's another boss. Let's try to stay away from it so we don't kill it. And let's wait for the other boss to revive. There we go. The other boss has risen. So let's kill this butterfly. And now we have 10 seconds for another boss to revive. So we don't want to kill this underground gerbil. And here comes another boss again. So now let's kill the gerbil. And here comes another boss. So let's Let's kill the butterfly. Here comes another boss. We're doing it. So we have four seconds left. We have about two minutes to kill as many bosses as we can. And we were able to kill a lot that way. I didn't keep count. There are other ways, of course, to complete this mission. You can play challenges and you can play main chapters as well. The next mission is to defeat a certain amount of monsters. And you can do this by equipping shiny wrist guards. And typically by using a ranged weapon like the kunai, the shotgun, or the revolver. Even the void power weapon. And then head to the chapter four stage or challenge. Keep in mind, if you do the chapter 4.3 challenge, you do get double bosses there and can kill multiple bosses. So here's chapter 4, and a good way to kill farm is by simply remaining still, remaining AFK, or by running up and down vertically. You might also want to evo some skills before you go AFK, that way you can get more kills, and that's about it. Another mission we might see is to defeat an event boss in an event stage. Some events have specific game modes with bosses, and if you defeat them, or if you play that game mode, you can complete a mission. The next mission is to claim quick patrols. To do this, tap on patrols, go to quick earnings, and claim your quick earnings. That counts as one try right there. We might also see missions that require us to synthesize or evolve our main weapons. So to do this, you simply want to evolve your weapon during a battle, during a stage, wherever you are in the game. For example, if you are using the kunai, grab the Koga Ninja Scroll and evolve it into Spirit Shuriken. In addition, some missions require you to evolve skills or weapon supplies. And in that case, grab something like the brick and evolve it with the 
fitness guide to make the wonton iron. In addition, the Lanterns Delights event had a series of interesting missions where it would be required of you to evolve specific weapons and skills. For example, use the kunai to evolve the spirit shuriken 15 times. To complete this, evolve the kunai 15 times wherever you play. And the fastest way to possibly do this is by choosing a short stage challenge or boss gauntlet mission in Special Ops. One thing to keep in mind while you complete missions is that some of them are compatible with each other, such as participate in a main stage, defeat monsters, and defeat bosses. You can pretty much just do this on one chapter right here, chapter four. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Smash like and subscribe. I'll see you later.